Welcome back to the Old History Project YouTube channel. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Please see the description below for links to my Facebook page and podcast. Welcome back guys. Here on the Old History Project YouTube channel. So, I know you can see it behind me. We are right here at the proverbial steps of Edwards Seminary slash White Pine High School. So, uh, without further ado, let's do a walk around and then we'll go inside. Hold on. GoPro was cooperating. So, uh, it was built in 18, let's see, 1877 by a man by the name of Bishop David Edwards. He served for 27 years with the United Brethren Church, it's Mennonite Church. Uh, he was a pretty upstanding individual from what I've read on the Mennonite pages. Uh, building of this school was funded by the UBC which is which I guess at that time they had they had a pretty strong interest in uh, educating the rural areas and at that time here in White Pine this would have been a pretty uh, sort of rural area I guess I guess All right there, some architectural parts for you. Uh, this is actually holding the building together. You got some cracks in the wall. Now there are three of those iron rods on this side, one, two, and three. And there are some stress cracks here. And man, I wish I could get on top of that roof. So anyway, uh, after about, I think, 1920, this was used as White Pine High School. And then that only lasted just a couple of years uh, whenever they built the other White Pine School, which Dale Snap, the White Pine historian, will tell us here a little later on because I filmed the inside first and then it came outside and here I'm actually looking straight up at this thing this building's huge and there is one scrapbook that I know of that uh, belonged to a lady named Agnes and she made a bunch of memories with the school like the events that happened took pictures posted them in the scrapbook and if I can get my scanner at the house to work we will uh, <coughs> I'll post them up and so I'll point it out this section of the school here was an add-on although it looks just a couple of years uh, newer, maybe a couple of my decade or two, 10, 20 years. But that's that side is the original. So just some back, some more back history here. I said it was built in 1877. It was built in Greenville, Tennessee, and moved to White Pine, which is pretty interesting because I don't know if they moved it brick by brick or jacked it up on stilts and hauled it over a mountain. So, if you're standing in the second story of that building, and if you look straight that way, you can see Church of the Pines, aka Edwards Chapel Church, which was built 
uh, and name, named for, you guessed it, Bishop David Edwards. Here are some of the bricks. I don't know if they've just fell out or if they're extras. But they do not look like regular processed brick. They look like they were handmade. Here with Mr. Snap, Mr. Dale Snap, White Pine historian, who uh, made an invitation to me to come film it. I'm glad he did. This is super awesome. We're here with his sister and a couple of members from the White Pine uh, Jefferson County Historical Committee, who couldn't pass up the opportunity either. So before we go inside, I have something I'd like to announce. So I was talking with the groundskeeper. Uh, he says that right there is a nest of honeybees that is absolutely friggin' enormous. He says there's probably 20, 30,000 bees in there. And there's another one just as big on the other side. And uh, of course there's no room to get my light and the camera in there at the same time but this is a double mason brick wall and the beams look to be about 30 inches wide they're enormous beams they were cut at the sawmill likely i should say cut at the sawmill at nina which is a water powered saw so all right back to your regularly scheduled program all right, so the announcement. A friend of mine from that I've known since middle school shared one of my videos on Facebook and I said, hey, that guy makes good videos. She got on there and commented how her son likes how I get the time travel. And uh, uh, well, thank you for that comment. You know, I'm glad that you watch my stuff and hopefully, you know, you learn a thing or two that you can take with you to school or something. So I can't show you exactly how I time travel, but right here in just a second, I'm going to time travel back to 1880 and 1926 for just a couple of, uh, just a couple of things you need to see. So ready? You can't, I can't show you. All right, glad you made it. So the school had a bell tower, which is really interesting because we don't know where it went. We think it went to somewhere in Greenville. Um, anyway, so here's a bunch of pictures of it, and you can see one of the doors in the original part of the building. Here's a picture of a high school class there, and then this is followed by a picture of Bishop David Edwards and his wife, Lucretia. Edwards, I think I pronounced that right. I pronounced it the Appalachian way. And finally, here is an advertisement for Edwards Seminary. Now, I was only allotted enough time to go back and time to get these images. We gotta go back right quick. Well, let's go in, shall we? So, as if I haven't mentioned it before, this is uh, Edwards Seminary slash White Pine, Old White Pine High School. Uh, I don't really know how long it's been out of use. Uh, probably since the 60s or 70s. I'll, I'll ask Mr. Dale here in just a little while. But it was first as a used as a college. Uh, funded by a Mennonite church of uh, 
which is pretty strange. There, were, I didn't know there were, were a whole lot of Mennonites in this area. Uh, named for Bishop Edwards, Bishop David Edwards. There we go. Who was pro I think I've read, and I'll put the source in the description. He was one of the longest serving pastors, uh, bishops for the um, United Brethren Church. He was a pretty, from what I gather, a pretty outstanding citizen. Oh, you're good, man. Now this is just the first level. And as you can see, there's it's used for storage. So when I say a sitting building, worst thing for a sitting building is to have nothing in it. This building has quite a bit in it. Look at that woodwork. The college, from what I've read, had over 200 pupils that went here. There's somebody's 5S board. It's pretty neat. There's a, a crapper. Old Singer sewing machine. Somebody's cool hot rod. stuff so it's not abandoned it's just I guess the right thing to say would be unoccupied unused I don't know they taught ancient languages here science all kinds of stuff math all the standard things you'd teach at a college and i don't know the full spectrum of uh what exactly they taught but still yet all right so he said not to go in that room there are snakes in there i'm not going to question him but what we will do you can't even see through the window never mind that antique two-man saw right there you guys see that that's really cool are you fine Dale this is I think that's a signal tree I don't know and then there's an old milk jug milk can I should say mr. Dale snaps here with us you know he wouldn't pass up an opportunity to uh, Come into this school. Dale, when was the last time this school was used as a school? Was it when the Jefferson County Schools was integrated or? 1926 or 27, it uh, was when they built the new school for white time. And everyone moved from here to there. Okay. What about uh, in the years after after that? Was it just used as a house, somebody's house? It was house? rented out as a house. This is uh, a place where Ramsey's Bargain Furniture was later, and uh, now it's just used by Ramsey's for storage. This would be a cool place to live, i got to say that. It would have been really cool to see it back in its day. All right, let's head upstairs. This is the upstairs. And I'll get more of that staircase here in a minute. I had a stove up here.
Man, this is cool. to be in one of the original windows. There's a coffin. Oh man, there's a coffin. I don't want to find out if there's somebody in there. There's a critter or something in there. And a couple spots for some windows. I guess that was a door. This just might just be the coolest exploration I've ever got to do. Found a coffin, all kinds of old sewing stuff. Snakes in the floor. Another cool hot rod again. Wonder whose that is. Some writing on the wall, but we can't make it out. Probably graffiti. Let's see if we can see any dates on it. The walls are starting to separate. Cracks in the walls. Probably just settlement stuff. But if I was going to preserve it, I'd take care of that stuff, probably secure all that. legible writing on the wall anyway unfortunately I have to go back through both of these now something I'll plug in at least uh, I'll try to if I can get my scanner to work uh, the White Pine Historical Society has one of the, a scrapbook from somebody who I can't remember her name. And she took a bunch of pictures of the place, uh, some school stuff that happened, basically like a yearbook without it actually being a yearbook. This place didn't actually have a yearbook. So I'll try and plug it in if I can't, then can go visit the White Pine Historical Society and I'm sure that if you talk to Mr. Dale real nice he'll let you look at it. All right. Well this concludes the tour of the out inside. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always be sure to like, share, and subscribe and we will catch you next time.
here in the Old History Project. Yeah.